Let's look at negative 729 is equal to negative k minus 24 to the 3 over 2. Again, you cannot put that negative inside those parentheses. Okay? The only way you can deal with it is by moving it to the other side by dividing by negative 1. Okay, so 729 is equal to k minus 24 to the 3 over 2. So we need to raise both sides to the 2 over 3. <clears throat> Not a big deal. Oh, what? Oh, I'm so frozen. Same deal. Sorry. Oh. Woo! Magic. There it is. I write fast, right? I kind of do. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> the cube root of 729 is 9. Yes, 9. And then 9 squared, we'll do in just a moment. 1. So, add 24. A is 1 over. We don't have to worry about two solutions here because we took the cube root. Positive 9 is the only option. So k equals 105 is our only solution. Okay. 4m to the 5 over 3 minus 6 is equal to 966. Okay, again, the variable, or not the variable, but the exponent is in a different place. It's not outside of a set of parentheses, so it's just on that single variable. That's the only thing we need to isolate. So we start by adding the 6. And 9, 75, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And then we divide by 4. So that is 2... Four, three, fifteen, forty-three. Okay, two forty-three, and then we raise both sides to the three-fifths power. So we are looking at the fifth root of two forty-three cubed. I want to is that three? Yep, the fifth root of two forty-three would be three. Am I correct? Someone was talking about yeah. it. Okay, good. 3 cubed is 27. That's a negative. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? 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 <laughs> no, you don't have to have it memorized. What was your question? How did I do what? 972 divided by 4? Well, I mean, 4 goes into 9 twice with 1 left over. 4 goes into 17 4 times with 1 left over. So 4 goes into 12 3 times. But like, while you wrote it, you were like, nine, what? Four, two, four, three. <laughs> I didn't say that fast. I got two, four, three. Anyway, whatever. Hold y'all a nerd, okay? I don't think you really understand to what degree of a nerd I am. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. I would have loved to be in high school thing. with you in like your calculus class. Because I can just like... <laughs> I know. Yeah. I thought that was really funny. Yeah. No, actually in my calculus class I spent more time... Trying, yeah, well, yeah, trying to help this, this guy that I go to school with forever. He was just... He was smart and he just didn't want to do anything, so... I bet. Yeah, he was cute. Oh. Not gonna lie, he was cute. No, 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 no. I did like him. I really did. Yeah. He never asked me out. I think that at one point in time I did confess my feelings for him, but they were not reciprocated. So. I have found him on Facebook. He's married and has two adorable little boys. So, um, this example that I think most of you are like most of the way done with. <laughs> a little detour there. 729. Let me show off some more math skills here. Why not? 
apparently the theme of the day. All right, let's start. Let's divide 729 by three. That would be two, four. Wait, does that go evenly? That doesn't go evenly, does it? It does. Three gives us seven, six. What am I doing now? Hang on, y'all throw me off. Three goes into seven twice with one left over. So three goes into twelve four times. Three oh. What the crap? Okay, yes, it goes evenly. <laughs> okay, raise it to the three fifths. The fifth root of 243, we just did that. That ends up giving us uh, 27 when we take the fifth root and then cube it. Subtract 69, so that is negative 42. So negative 21 is equal to n. I am always wary when I get negative answers on these. So I'm going to plug this one in to check just to make sure. And it doesn't end up working out. It is okay. Um, because yes, that's going to, well, no, it's not going to give us a negative. It's still a positive number inside those parentheses. So, we're good. Negative 21 is the answer. Okay, let's do one more that's got these lovely fractions. One more with fractions. <laughs> Negative 81 over 8. We're going to solve this one. We need to start by adding 10 to both sides. So, if we're going to do this without a calculator, we need to express 10 as something over 8. That would be 80 over 8. What? We're adding 10 to both sides. We're having to add it to a fraction that's over 8. So we need to express 10 as something over 8. 80 over 8. Okay. Negative 81 plus 80 is negative 1. So that equals negative 1 eighth. Uh, I do have a quiz on this. Okay. <clears throat> we need to multiply both sides by negative 1 half now. So we get positive 1 over 16 is equal to 9r plus 1, so you need negative 2 over 3. Raise both sides to the negative 3 over 2 power. So first things first, get rid of the negative by flipping over that fraction. So that's going to be the square root of 16 cubed. I got rid of the negative exponent by flipping it over. And then I just wrote the exponent as in radical form. Now, we are taking the square root. This is one of them where we have two possibilities now. Because we have positive 4 cubed is equal to 9r plus 1. And we also have negative 4 cubed is equal to 9r plus 1. 4 cubed is 64. So that's 63 is equal to 9r. That says 7 is one of our solutions. <clears throat> negative 64 is equal to 9r plus 1. So that says negative 65 is equal to 9r. Um, does that reduce? I don't think so. Yes, Jess. The negative exponent? <clears throat> okay, so... Negative exponents, we can look at it as moving it to the denominator of a fraction. Well, it's already a fraction. So we can just flip that fraction over and it becomes the positive exponent. So I flip the 1 over 16 and made it 16 and then wrote my rational exponent as in radical form. So two solutions on this one. Can't hurt to check them. Okay. 
<clears throat> negative 10 minus 2 times 9 times 7 plus 1 raised to the negative 2 over 3. And let's make sure, I'm pretty sure, yep, that's negative 181, or excuse me, negative 81 over 8. And let's check negative 65 over 9, because that one looks really weird. But it works too. So, not on the quiz Friday, but... I mean, not that difficult, but yes, problems like this, yes.